been doing critical care since uh, uh, 2002 and I have never seen uh, this much strain on our ICU resources. On April 6th, <laughs> In New York, from a personal experience, I think that was the worst day uh, hospital-wise. At some point, we had 68 patients. Uh, many of these patients worsen, and then they need intubation and transfer to the intensive care unit. And we have converted many hospital spaces into pop-up uh, ICU, intensive care units. However, despite all our efforts, we were uh, stuck with uh, several patients who needed to be intubated. However, we just couldn't intubate all of them at once. So we had to buy time. And I made a clinical decision to um, put these patients in a prone position. We, of course, applied for um, the approval to track those patients. And once we received the approval, we just uh, look at our uh, outcomes and recorded it in a study. We were hoping that this would be helpful to other healthcare providers treating COVID patients. There's more uniform uh, uh, ventilation and perfusion, so there's more matching. Uh, these upper portion of the lungs get some blood and they also get some air, so the body is able to extract more oxygen and get rid of some more carbon dioxide more effectively and we see that in an increased uh, oxygenation measure uh, by pulse oximetry on a finger. So we think that's what's at play here.